We have just picked up our first camper that we are renting from RV Share. And how you doing? It's different. <laughs> I keep looking at my rear mirror and there's this big thing right on my butt. It's our camper. We're Brian and Megan. We're an average American couple who loves to travel and explore. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our average, average wild, wild experience. experience. So far, RV Share has been really, really easy and really awesome. We went online, we picked out the camper that we needed. Um, they're really great with details because our truck can only tow up to about 7,000 pounds as the gross weight capability. So we needed to find something a little bit smaller and we kind of really just wanted to test out um, about a 20, I think this is 21 feet. Um, we kind of wanted to just rent it out and see how it went. And, um, yeah, RVShare.com, awesome. Went through the whole process. The guy that we're working with, his name is JJ, so if we ever talk about JJ, that's who we're talking about. The whole process is really easy. Another thing that we are looking at is gas mileage and how much we, how many miles we get per tank. Filling up gas for the first time. First stop with the camper is Bucky's. So I figured it was only appropriate. It's a Christmas ornament. It's so cute. It's a little camper. And we love Bucky, so it's fitting. We do. We go to Bucky's all the time. Every time we can. Love him. So cute. This is the traffic we are avoiding. So our time kept climbing up on the GPS. Um, which is obviously on our screen here and all of a sudden we were jumping up like 10 minutes then another 20 minutes then a third another 30 minutes we were now an hour past what our normal driving time was supposed to be and I was like there's something coming up we need to look so I pulled up the map and I just kind of zoomed out and it was just dark red all the way through this next town here for like what a solid 10 miles at least and so I decided I was like we need to get off right now <laughs> Had Brian cross like three lanes of traffic. He did great, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so now we're gonna test out the, the back road ability of this a little bit, but uh, yeah. Well, the traffic caught up to us. This is our camper for the next couple days here. Um, we are here till Sunday. So this turns into the bed here. That's where we'll be sleeping. And obviously that trash can comes out, but we have the dinette area, big refrigerator, sink, TV that we won't be using. What you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, Thanksgiving. We're in Pensacola, Florida. And I am attempting to make a turkey dinner um, in a camper. The camper doesn't have a stove. So we do have a slow cooker. So I am slow cooking the turkey. Gross. I have never done that before. Um, Let's put it this way. I said, Brian, do you need any help? And he goes, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna kinda season everything and then... Wing it. Toss it in, close it Wing up, it. and come back in seven hours. Wing it, get it? Because it's a Because it's a turkey. <laughs> it's fine. Let it just let it be cheapy. Um, yeah, this is home for the next couple days. Trying to keep it clean. <laughs> they pull out Murphy bed, which was horribly uncomfortable. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad if the mattress was more than an inch thick. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a piece of wood underneath, so you're essentially sleeping on a piece of wood. This is our second time down here in Pensacola. Yes. 
we came down here in March for my spring break. Um, and we brought Luna, because they have awesome dog beaches here, which was so much fun, and Luna loved every second of it. But we decided since we're renting a camper not to bring her. Um, just one less thing to worry about while we're also trying to figure out the camper life. <laughs> It's not that bad. You were correct. It's not that bad at all. But beautiful white sand beach. Waves lapping up. The crab. And just like that, we've arrived at another beach. So same cool. beach. Same sand. Same 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 Different access. 21F. <laughs> Hello, 21F. Calder up here? I like whatever was going on down that way. That way it was warmer. We found the trail. Wasn't very hard to find, but we found it. Well, not long after we started, we found the battery worth and it's literally right there. That's, that's, that's the entrance we're starting. That's the battery worth. <clears throat> So these are the gun pits. Imagine the directions came from up there. Gun pits were here and they would fire 700 pound projectiles all the way up above over there seven to nine miles away. Pretty crazy. Megan for scale of how big this gun pit is. The echo from just talking I don't want to be in here with a massive gun firing a 700 pound projectile. Se yeah, a cannon. Massive cannon firing 700 pound projectiles seven to nine miles away. That would just hurt. Ooh, it smells like turkey. Smell good in here. Turkey is cooking. It looks okay. That's the important part. <laughs> it's about as much as we know. Except for the top, because it doesn't fit all the way in. Alright. And just like that, our home for the last few days is all packed up. All packed up, ready to go. It is Sunday morning at 6.37. Hoping to beat some traffic. Hoping to figure out the dump station. That as well. <laughs> good times. But yep, all packed up. Things good to go here. All the cabinets are secured. Have to put the bump out in, bring supports up, and hook up. That's about it. We are headed home. Had a pretty good trip. Of course, last morning, finally have blue skies beautiful weather but it is what it is so we are headed home arrival time is approximately 2 p.m of course obviously that'll back up as people wake up and get on the roads but trying to beat the traffic it's been good so far so what's your takeaway from this trip i like campers why do you like campers they are comfortable if it rains you don't have to worry about it You're not like oh crap is the tank gonna leak? Is the wind gonna blow it over and collapse on us like it did in Colorado? Um, 
everything's there. You can cook a nice breakfast or lunch or dinner inside. We had a steak dinner last night in a camper. It was wonderful. Um, it's just a creature comfort 